Hello everyone, I'm Melinda Nail Fanatic, and this is our June 10th, 2017 Daily General Tarot, and so we're going to do our Word of Clarity for the day, and we'll be using my Custom Words of Clarity deck to see if there's God's word for us today. And this will go through our money and our romance messages as well. And applies just generally throughout the day. There's the word. Y'all saw that float right out of the deck, didn't you? Manifestation. What a beautiful word. I love the word manifestation. Talking about bringing things down that, that we had created and Psychic is also at the bottom of the deck. So I feel that today will be a great day of uh, the manifestation of things that we have perceived in our mind's eye before our physical eye perceived it. Let's see what our Play School flashcards has to add to the message. Okay, this one flips over the airplane. So I feel that this is going to be for some of you actually traveling. Um, the bottom of this deck is a yellow circle. Talking about your power, and that was more the energy that I got from the airplane card was just feeling like things are taking off. So as far as your power, your vitality, what you're able to accomplish, your willpower in your own life direction, it, things are coming full circle is what I was getting with that message today. And uh, let's pull a card from the Phantasmagoric Theater deck. I usually have my cards all laid out out of their packages and stuff prior to beginning these, but today I'm kind of pulling them out as we go. So let's see what is the message we get from this deck here. Again, still for our general tarot. I see that we need to be very um, just Stay vigilant about our thoughts. Stay receptive towards those higher vibration thoughts because the things that we are focused on are manifesting really quickly. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I got a whole bundle that came out over here, but I don't think this was the message. The message is this one that, that kind of stuck at the bottom. That was weird because it went in between my other fingers. So we're gonna put these ones back. We're gonna take this one. Oh wow, the four of wands, bringing it home. We're bringing it home with this card, okay? The Four of Wands is a happy homecoming, happy welcoming, uh, stability. And what is it that we're bringing home? Let's see what the bottom of the deck has the Wheel of Fortune for us, number 10, Major Arcana. So we're bringing home that good fortune. We're bringing home a change for the better. We're bringing home a new beginning. Uh, Manifesting the end of some some situations that have felt very karmic. Let's see what our money specific deck wants to say. So let's see what is the message regarding our money situation for today, June the 10th, 2017. Love Source God, what is our general money message for today? What do we need to hear? the most because we're manifesting from our psychic center we're manifesting from that place that is deep within and when we do see the physical manifestations because we've brought our jets in alignment our our mental jets into alignment with that higher brighter uh, self with our higher lighter and brighter vortex it says, my what is need not influence my what is becoming. And this is card number 42. I don't think we've had this one before. Four plus two equals six, so that's about harmony. Let's see what the back says. What is has no bearing on what is coming unless you are continually regurgitating the story of what is. By thinking and speaking more of how you really want your life to be, you allow what you are currently living to be, jumping, be the jumping off place for so much more. But if you speak predominantly of what is, then you still jump off, but you jump off into more of the same. So, <clears throat> 
we have the ability to change our jump off point into uh, what we want our jump off point to be by changing our point of focus. And so let's go ahead and pull a tarot card to see what is the message regarding money and more in particular that we need to pay attention to what's the situation today for us. And we'll go ahead and take the card out and the bottom of the deck as we've been. Let's see what is the message for us regarding money from this tarot deck. Let's source God. Money message. I feel that you have a feeling that, mm, yeah, I'm hearing that you can feel and you have had a glimmer of a thought of what's coming in for you. And again, I'm being told to share with you. Mm, okay, I wrote it down the other day. Have the thought and drop it like it's hot. Because if you can have the thought and drop it like it's hot, it will come in really fast. Yeah. Think of those thoughts that you had where it was something that was just by the side of your mind and then it just came in so quickly and so fast. The card that came out is the Nine of Cups and at the bottom of the deck we have the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords for me speaks to, in this deck in particular, because of the... Papa put it down. Granny's in the middle of a video. Oh, my grandson's bringing me two bottles that are full one gallons, and he's two years old. You're so strong. Thank you, Papa. Okay, let Granny finish the reading now, okay? Shh. So in this deck, notice all the chaos that's going on in the background, but notice how there's a synchronicity. The points of the swords come together. And so what I'm getting from this is in regards to our finances. If we can find the synchronicity in the chaos, we're going to find the happiness today. If we can find the happiness today, the chaos will show its synchronicity. Because there's not a single situation that is not working to our benefit. All things are working for our benefit. All things are a blessing to us. And it's our uh, benefit is to our benefit to discover how that is true to be receptive to viewing that in our life because it's happening but sometimes we're just not receptive to seeing it because we're so stuck on what we think it is what we think it is what we think it is that we're having a difficult finding the synchronicity within the chaos which is always guiding us to our happiness. The card that comes out of this deck is questioning your beliefs, and the bottom of the deck is soulmate. And so what I heard instantly was, do you really believe that your soulmate is there and y'all are calling each other to each other? Don't give up. Keep persisting because you are so close to manifestation, and that thought that you have, continue to hold it because it is showing you what is coming for you. Also, I'm hearing if you've always been attracted to a certain, a certain uh, thing, that's okay for you to continue forward with uh, that attraction because within that, it's not, I'm not just, okay, what am I trying to say? Let me clear this up a little bit. It's not about the lustful attraction. It's about an attraction where I just can't stop I'm, I'm constantly, like for me, for example, I constantly find myself looking at people, uh, gentlemen who are very much taller than me. It fascinates me. Men who are very much taller than me are fascinating to me. And the thing is, they always have been as long as I can remember since I was a little girl. And about a year and a half ago, I had a uh, thought that I had when I was around 12 years old, a vision, if you will, that came back into my recollection of a silhouette and I knew that the shorter one was me and the taller one was him and so that was a glimmer that was given to me in the past of what I had coming and I believe that and I don't question that likewise you have something within you that you have always had a vision of whether or not you can actually recall it and maybe maybe your psychic eye will bring it back to you but that's a, a glimmer of the manifestation of 
your good fortune, which is now doubled here, coming full force to you that will succeed. If success is assured when the chariot shows up. Yes, it's a round and about way, and uh, you, uh, I'm getting with this chariot here that we've kind of been missing each other for a while, but that situation we're coming into for a turn for the better is guaranteed success and it's been a, a round and about round and about round and about way to get to where we're going now if you're in a romantic relationship already the message i'm getting from for you is you're sitting there and you're actually kind of looking and saying is this a karmic situation or is this where, really where i need to be have i finished living these karmic lessons and am i now ready to move on is the question that i'm seeing presented here and if that doesn't resonate yeah. to you, then don't read into it. If it resonates to you, you don't need to question it. Now, again, for those of you who, who um, are watching the video, the one thing that you can take from this romance portion of this reading and apply no matter what is to stick to your beliefs. Stick to your true essence because that is always going to take you to your will of fortune, which is things working out better for you. A, sit, uh, a situation of, of gain, a situation of improvement, a situation of things turning for the better, and success being assured. So whether you're in a relationship or not, you have to keep your mind eye on the happiness, on the manifestations that you're seeing. This has been a beautiful, absolutely beautiful spread today. So uh, keep your keep your vibe up keep your head up keep your smile up i love the part of me that lines up with you i love the alignment that we share and if i can read for you on your own personal consultation lphtarot.com has the information you need because my personal consultations are always by donation if you're interested in custom words of clarity day there's also information on that there on that website and that's lphtarot.com as in love, peace, and happiness to you and yours, and of course, me and mine. Until next time.